I think I'm going to do a poll for me and Simon Bassett and then do a separate poll for me and Michael B. Jordan. Everybody be celebrity. That goes for any and everybody. So many times I've been told I look like Simon Bassett. Y'all know the guy from Bridgerton, the leading actor. There's this one picture of mine that, you know, floating around on the internet. And I've been told many times I look like that guy. And I'm like, huh? I didn't even know who he was because I didn't watch Bridgerton until four months ago. Yeah, I'm about a year late. What was I doing during the pandemic? And I'm like, fuck, Every, people telling me that. I'm like, huh? Who is, who, who is he? <laughs> I mean, and at first it was just one person who told me this. Then it was two, then three, then four, then five. I mean, I got up to at least seven. And I'm like, are y'all for real? You know, so I looked at a few pictures and then I compared one of my pictures uh, to it and I was like, is that a compliment y'all? If I'm gonna look like somebody, if Ron G Hollywood is gonna look like somebody, then let that please be a compliment. I mean, do I look like the dude from Bridgerton? I mean, do I look like him? You know what I'm saying? Is that really, is, I mean, I don't know. Y'all tell me. I mean, I, hopefully if I do, it's a compliment. I don't want to look like somebody and, it, uh, and it's not. <laughs> but I couldn't believe it when they told me I looked like him. Because again, I didn't know who the hell he was. I didn't have a clue. I didn't even watch Bridgerton until, what, four months ago. And I think it came out, what, during the pandemic, the beginning of the pandemic. So yeah, I'm well over a year late. But it's cool because now I know who they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly who they're talking about. And I'm like, hmm, is it true? Is it true? Let me know what y'all think. Let's do a poll. <laughs> I'm just curious. I think I'm going to do a poll for me and Simon Bassett and then do a separate poll for me and Michael B. Jordan. With Michael B. Jordan, you know, they're telling me because I work out a lot and I've been, you know, building myself up and all, you know, they're like, I've been told, not that I look like them. No, don't, don't get, let's not get that confused right here, y'all. Um, but it's just because, you know, I was told by one of my friends and we were watching a movie and she told me um, because I work out so much. I'm kind of like, you know, kind of like him, I guess, muscular wise. I don't know. So I'm on my way to the gym. Got to get my workout in. You know, I can't have, you know, Michael B. Jordan outdoing me for the next Creed movie. I got to be a part of Creed 3 whatever. That's gonna be me. Next time y'all see that next movie, that's gonna be me. Starring Ron T. Gillis. <laughs> Hollywood. That's right. I'm really, really trying to be in the next Creed movie. I'm trying to take over Michael B. Jordan's spot. That's right, I'm coming for you, Michael B. Jordan. Everybody be celebrity. That goes for any and everybody. Ron G. Hollywood's coming. I'm about to take over. That's why I'm in the gym so much. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's like you gotta put in the work. And that's one thing I don't mind doing because I actually enjoy working out. You know, a lot of people don't like it. It's like a chore for them, whatever. But for me, I enjoy the process. You know, I just enjoy the way it makes you feel better once you're all done. You know what I'm saying? really great feel gives you energy gives you that extra boost all that so yeah what am i gonna work on today mm, uh, maybe maybe chest and shoulders yeah I'm, that's what i'm thinking chest and shoulders so you know i gotta get my workout in the way i make a screen while on the screen she likes the fancy things that this life brings yeah. the cash, cash. the thing. Thing. and my Being part of my